Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Today I'll show you how to mod play to go This is something that gets requested a lot. It's actually really easy, but if you haven't figured it out or you're having trouble, this video will help you. All right, so let's just get right into this. First thing we're gonna do from the main menu is click open user folder. Once you open your user folder, you will have a folder called template. I have some others here because I've made other mods, but you'll be looking for template. We're gonna right click, go down to copy, right click anywhere in your folder and hit paste. Now we have template copy. Okay, now you're gonna wanna name this folder whatever your mod's gonna be. So we're gonna do a Super Mario Bros. All-Stars mod. So we'll name it SMB All-Stars. Next thing you need to do is open up a photo editing or pixel editing program. Now as before, I've mentioned this before, I use Ace Sprite, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. So that's what I'll be using, but you could use Photoshop, uh, you could use, I have this program called GIMP that you could use. So you can Google free photo editor. We'll be using a Sprite for this tutorial. All right, and the next thing is we're gonna need sprites to use. A great site for sprites is the Spriters resource. I'll put a link to that in the description below. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is look for some sort of a title screen or icon we can use here. All right, so we're gonna use this game over screen here. That'll work fine. All right, so this Birdo sprite art was ripped by Jigglypuff Girl, so shout out to her for that. We're going to copy the image, and if you open up your photo editing program and go to new, your program will get usually the right size you'll need. And if you paste it in, there we go. And I think this is gonna look better. She's facing the other way, so we're gonna flip our screen. We're gonna want this sprite right here. I'm gonna copy it and I'll show you why here now. So we'll open back up our user folder. We have this one called icon. You can either go to file and find your file, which might be a little bit trickier, but most photo editing programs, you can just take the file and drag it into the program. And there we go, we have the user icon. We're going to delete that and we're gonna paste Birdo in here. All right, now that we have Birdo in here, we're gonna go ahead and make them a little bit bigger. Stretch like so. And now we'll kind of center Birdo a little bit here. That should be good enough. We're gonna go ahead and save. Now if we go back into play to go and we go to create, right click up on the icon up here on the left and we're gonna look for our Super Mario Bros. All-Stars mod. And there it is. And now you see we have Birdo as our icon. So now when we're using this mod, we'll have Birdo up here with what the mod's called. Cool. Now we can quit create mode and open user folder again. So in user folder, once again, we want to be in our Super Mario Bros. All-Stars or whatever mod you happen to be doing. And next we're going to change our characters. So we're going to drag this entities file into our photo editor. All right, and this is what we're looking for. It's in the bottom left corner. Up top we have enemies and we have NPCs in here. But the bottom left we have our main characters. We're going to edit the guy character. So going back to the Spriter's resource, we can go up here and we can use Toad, Peach, Mario, or Luigi. Let's go ahead and use Toad just to make things a little different. And this was ripped by Saniku, uh, but no credit needed, but we'll give you credit anyways, why not? He's got a very small sprite sheet, we'll copy that. Back to our sprite editor, new, okay. And then once again, you can control V or you can go up to paste. And there we have Toad pixel art. Cool. Now his head goes from side to side. As you can see here, he's square and all these blocks. So it's gonna be pretty easy to line them up for his animations. We're gonna get rid of all this pink and we'll get rid of this white too. We don't really need any of that. We're gonna flip everything because the characters in play to go are always going to the right. All right, now we need a running animation again. So he's got three steps in his running animation. And these five here is where we really see him running and the other ones where he stops. So I'm gonna save with that scribble there. And as you can see, he's got the scribbles when he runs on every frame. So it's five frames of animation for his walk. So that makes things a little bit tricky as we can see here, Toad has three steps in his running animation. So we're just gonna try our best to replace and make it look well. So on this one, he was kind of standing still, kind of like this. All right, so when you paste Toad, notice he's way too small. Easiest thing to do is move him into the corner, highlight a square around him, a perfect square, and then double it in size. So we'll go up to and over to, and then you have a perfect square again. That way you know his aspect ratio stays the same, that way he won't end up looking weird. So he's kind of standing still in this one. 
and he kind of stands kind of like that in this one as well. So we can paste that one over here and then we need a couple more frames animation for his run here. So he has this right here where he's kind of got his legs spread apart where he's in full run, which looks kind of more like this one. And paste him down here, slide him to the corner once again. He's one too far over. We want to make sure his Everything's within these two squares. Once he is, we'll highlight these four squares once again, and we'll double everything in size like so. All right, cool. Now we need a little bit more of his animation to finish his run. Down here, he's kind of spread a little bit farther in his legs, and that can replace this one. Once again, we'll put him, make sure he's in within these squares here. Copy these four. Drag it up like so. And then once we have this one, we can copy it and paste it over this one like so. And then for his stopped animation, we can just use this one again right here. We'll move him over here. Like so. All right, and then now we have Toad able to run. And then up here, this is also his standstill animation or his frame or whatever. So I'll put a toad up there. So now we should have toad in the game and he should be able to run around a bit. So we'll go back to play to go, go to create, make sure you're on Super Mario Bros. All-Star mod. We have toad, hit play. And he looks pretty good. His animation looks right. He looks like he's running around. Now, if we jump, we aren't toad anymore. So we can fix that real quick. So we need a jump. So I think, I'm not positive that this is probably his jump frame here. So here's the play to go jump frame animation where he kind of jumps up and starts to fall down and this is when he lands. Uh, so all we need to do is delete these five, paste this down. I believe this is a little bit different than his running frames but I could be wrong on that. Either way, this will still look okay for a jump, I think. So we'll go ahead and increase this in size just like we did before. And we needed five of these, so we'll copy and paste it and make sure these are all lined up. Save, and now we have half of his jump done. We just need the landing. Now when he lands, your best bet will be just to have him in his standing form since he doesn't have a bunch of sprites here. You could make some custom landing sprites if you wanted to. We're going to keep this nice and simple though. Paste him there and paste him there. This is all we're going to do for the character because you can pretty much get the idea with this. Anything else you want to change, you can change later. There's jetpack animation, teleporting, when you die, when you climb. And this is your standstill idle animation. You can make the character do funny things when he gets bored waiting for you to start moving him around. All right, let's go back to create mode. And let's make something for him to jump over. Nice little easy gap here. And there we go. We now have a jumping animation with Toad. So we can run around and jump. And we can even double jump. Pretty cool. All right, open up your user folder again. And this time drag the tiles into your photo editor. This is where we can really make it start to look like Super Mario Bros. All-Stars. All right, so let's click on backgrounds. All right, so we're gonna use these background images. We're gonna go ahead and copy. Go back to our sprite editor, hit new. Okay, control paste. Now we have all of the backgrounds here we can use. And uh, let's see, these were ripped by Crapcom. <laughs> so credit to him for ripping this. Uh, go down here, we need this background right here. This will look pretty good. Copy this background, we'll head over to our tiles file, and then we'll go down to this bottom corner. We'll hit paste. As you can see here, it's not big enough to really fill all this in, but there's a reason for that. Remember how we made everything bigger before? Uh, we're gonna need to do that again. So in order to do that this time, I'm gonna hold down shift when I start dragging to keep everything in the same format so it won't get stretched weird. All right, so there we go. We have our background. And as you can see here, we have all this up here, which needs covered as well. So what I normally do is I'll select everything. It's kind of zoomed in now. And we'll go down to here, hit delete. And as you can see on the sprite sheets for play to go there's always this dark gray where there's no sprites or whatever. And that makes it really easy to line everything up because we know not to put anything where the dark gray is. So we just need to fill in this area up here with that light blue color. That's at the very top of the gradient. So we'll select this blue down here. 
and then we'll paint the area we just selected. Reselect, control save. One thing cool about play to go mods is you can hop right back in and check them as you go real fast. All right, so let's find our background. And there it is, cool. So the background's good, toad's good, but we need to do something about these ground pieces. And let's go back to Spreader's resource. We'll go for tile sets. We'll copy this set of tiles here. File new, hit okay, paste it, we select. And most sprite sheets will have some sort of a different background color. If your editing program has to select all of a certain color, use it. You can delete, so that way you can get rid of all the colors we don't actually need. There we go, now we have a transparent background that makes things easier. All right, let's use this little grassy stuff here to make our tiles. So we'll just select one of these, copy, then head over to our tiles. And we need to go up, up, and then zoom in here, and there's the tiles we want to replace. This first section of tile right here, I'll delete that. And if you do it right, you'll have even squares here. If you have your grid on, make sure you have a grid on no matter what you're using. So that way you can see this a little easier. So we want this on the side, but remember everything needs stretched out like that. So it's one square and now it fills four. Now that we have that, if we want to save some time, we can drag this one over. We can select all of this at once, paste it, put it in the top corner, drag it down to where it matches up. And there we go, we got our first section done. Now we need to delete this here. The next thing we want to do is we want to copy this top one, paste it, and move it down like so. So if there's a single row, it'll make this, but if there's a bigger space, we'll start to make this area. Now we'll head over to our sprites, and let's go ahead and move all of this together like we did before to save a little time. Once all of these are together, we can copy all three, head back to our tiles, paste it, Put it down like so, and since it's three across, we're gonna want it to be three more across, and since it was one high, we want it to be one more high. And there we go. We can copy all that and paste it and drag it down. We select save. Okay, so we have all that done. Now this is just a square if you just do one little square piece of land. What we can do for that is we can steal this section here, and paste it, drag it over, and then we need this section right here as well. Paste it and drag it over. And this is gonna be kind of like what we just did a minute ago. But this time, we're gonna copy this top one and paste it. We select, and then we're gonna copy a row of this. If you don't get it square, it's not a huge deal. We can fix it in a moment here. So that was close. There we go. So now we need 16 across over here. Go up to the top, copy it, paste it. We can actually just put it right there. And that looks good, we can save that. All right, so now that we have all that done, we'll go back to play to go, create. Now everything's cleared out, let's lay down some ground. And as you can see here, now everything's starting to look a lot more like Super Mario Bros. All-Stars. Pretty cool. Now to wrap up the tutorial, if we go back to, once again, our folder, Super Mario Bros. All-Stars, sound effects. Now that's a whole nother thing here. All right, for the music, we're gonna go to Zofar's music domain, and we need to find the Super Mario Bros. 2 Overworld song. So let's try to see if we can find that. That's not the right one. There we go, that's the one we want. We can click download and then click the little arrow to download it. And it's in an MP3 file, so that's not what we need. It's an OGG file, so uh, that's something that many of you might not have heard of before. If you haven't messed around with modding or game files, it's actually really easy to change an MP3 into an OGG file. We go to audioonlineconvert.com, convert to OGG. There's a free site you can use. Navigate to wherever you saved the overworld MP3, choose the file, go down to here and click convert file. And once it's done, it will automatically download. If it doesn't, there's a direct download link. The next step is you need to find your overworld song, that's OGG file, and we are going to rename it. We need to replace this song here, Game Game Music. That's the main theme of your mod. So rename overworld, 
game underscore game underscore music. Once you have it renamed as game game music, copy it and paste it in this folder. It'll ask if you want to replace it, say yes. And now if we go back to play to go, we hit create, we hit play. We now have the Super Mario Bros. 2 theme in the background. Pretty cool. So that's how easy it is to mod play to go You can change the music, you can change the sprites, and you can change the backgrounds and all the elements. It's definitely really, really cool. I hope this has helped you out. If it did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to let me know. If you have any questions, be sure to post them in the comments below. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.